All right, so we've got the two bolts that come off the back. So there's one there and one there that holds the caliper on. Got the crank pads off. Yeah, I think I was down to the... <laughs> I've used all of them. So that's efficiencies. Make sure you use all of it. Not great. Um, and there's a massive lip on here. Um, so that's why I've got new ones. They have been machined at least once. You could probably machine them again, but the new ones are 60 bucks each. So car's done almost 200, 180,000. Put some new ones on. All right, um, so I'm just going to put it into um, drive. So if you're not sure how to do that, don't put your foot in the brake. Make sure you don't put your foot in the brake once you're taking the caliber off, but we'll push the button and then you can move it into gear, we'll put it into neutral, hand brakes off. And then you should be able to move. Cool. What you want to do is find the one with the hole. Uh, there should be one top and one bottom. And then in there, there's a little gear two thing. I don't know see it, but essentially there's a little geared tooth thing in there that adjusts. All right, it's the other hole. That one. There you go. Torching, you can see it. Um, but what you want to do is find the tooth and then and then release it, which in this case is going down, which is that way on the tooth. To release the brake shoes so which brings them in so they go here and you're releasing it so it brings the bottom in just releasing it enough so you can get it go and get it loose the other thing you want to do is get some bolts to screw into here um, as well to break um, the seal just around the hub here because um, that's generally tight you might be able to just tap it with a rubber mallet to loosen it I'll just do this a little bit more. I'll get one of those bolts and uh, we'll screw the bolt in and then um, that will just pop it off. If it doesn't come off freely, the shoes are still holding it on. Yeah, so I've got a couple of, I think they're 10 mil. Um, so one on each side. Uh, just a little bit. That's it, that's all it needed just to release it. Take them out. And then this should come off freely. Is it still caught? Yeah, came off nice and easy. Sometimes you might have, depends how much you've used your handbrake, there might be a big lip. There's a bit of a lip there, and that's what kind of stops it, is that lip um, on the shoes. All right, so that's going in the bin. Uh, I'm just making sure everything is still where it should be. The two clips for the handbrake is still there shoes look okay still lots of meat on them so now what I'll do is I'll just get some brake cleaner parts cleaner and give everything a good um, good clean down and wipe it down as well and I'll do the same with the uh, caliper but I'll get the new rotor on and set the brake shoes first and then we'll um, do the do the actual main brakes you might go why am I putting so much of this stuff on to clean it well it's really the only time you get in here to clean it so you could use some degrease and hose them down but I'm just going to do this the other thing you want to make sure as well is that this is all nice and clean that's the mating surface of your actual um, disc so you want that to be nice and flat so you might want to get a wire wheel something like that if it's really bad give it a good clean so i'll wipe all this down some rags and um, put the new the new disc on before you put the new disc on just give it a clean with some clean deep like degreaser or brake cleaner ideally a non residue cleaner um, wipe all the new disc down, wipe all this down, put it on um, and then we'll adjust the um, the handbrake you may be able to see that's a little gear thing there that little tooth that's what you're adjusting so to get it off you want to go down with it so you're clicking it down and then to tighten it you want to push it up 
Um, so that's the, that's the little gear thing in there. And with a torch you can see it quite clearly through the uh, rotor. Anyway, so we'll clean all this up, put the new one on and go from there. Alright, so I've um, cleaned the backside and the, the rotor and the drum, cleaned that up, put it on. I'm not going to do the brakes yet until I've got the caliper on and the new brake pads. They'll hold the hold the rotor on um, just a little bit better when I do the final adjustments of the handbrake. Got to push back the piston. Uh, you know, you can use G clamp, you can get special tools for it. Let's use one of these clamps that I've got. Brake pad, keep it nice and square. I've just checked, um, opened the bonnet and looked at the fluid. Obviously, if it's obviously as as you use your brake, you have end up using more fluid in in the actual caliper from pushing your piston out, so you become lower. So if you've topped that up and then you go to push it back in, it's going to obviously put the fluid back into the reservoir. So you just make sure you're not overflowing over there. If you need to remove some, remove some, but just keep an eye on that. Um, so yeah, so just done this. It's not an overly hard thing to push back. You just push it back slowly. I have cleaned all this with brake cleaner and wiped it down. So that's all good to go. I'm just going to keep squeezing it. Also, it gives you a point of where to stop. The only problem with this using a brake disc is it gets caught about there. Yeah, there we go, got caught, that's right, keep going. I'll just keep pushing it back. Basically, you can keep pushing it back until the brake disc bottoms out. I need to over clamp it where I want to pinch the seal. And that is it. And is that all pushed back in? I've taken the slide. Um, if you've got only enough clean this separately, this is the slide that holds the brake pads on. If you've got one side wearing heaps more than the other, it's probably because you haven't got any grease um, on these slides. So we'll put some new grease on those slides. They just pop in to get the seals back and you just push it all the way in and they overclip on there. So put some grease on there. We'll put this back on, put the pads in, and then we can put it on, put the bolts. Um, back in. Alright, so calipers back on, done up. Um, brake disc done, I've just adjusted the handbrake um, shoe. So, what I did is you adjust it all the way out as far as it will go, so that essentially you can't move it. That seated the shoes into the drum, loosen it off, give it a spin, do it back up, and you want it to a point where it's just kind of just dragging on it. So, it's a bit firm to tight. Um, a bit firm to, to twist. Um, there's a bit of paint on these, um, so they don't rust from factory, which is a cool, it's a cool um, thing for the for the rotors. It means none of this stuff will rust, which is great. Um, so there's a little bit of that to come off on the inside. So I've done it, so it's just kind of just touching. So we'll give that a go. It should be fine. So I've done other cars and it's been been fine. So anyway, put the wheel on. Um, then we're all good to go. Thanks for watching again. If this is not your forte, don't start it. Brakes are a very important part of your car if you've never done them before. Probably not a great thing just to go ahead. This is just a bit of interest if you're on the side of the road or you've done it before and just not quite sure. Go for it. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya, bye.